I'm going to both sit and hold my mic improperly because I'm an adult and I do what I want. Um, I don't. I didn't script a cool intro to this. In fact, my script is um roughly fifty words long, and also I spelled script wrong. Um, so you're just gonna have to deal with me rambling. Uh, but in essence, this is my my brief explanation for why I'm leaving Instagram for YouTube and what to expect on my new YouTube channel. Um, un, un, you know, okay, obvious, the, the elephant in the room, if you will, um, is Instagram's algorithm changes. Um, I'm not going to pretend like that's not a factor. It definitely is, but I'm also not going to get into it because I feel like there are a lot of people that could explain it better than I could. And if you want to know what the algorithm changes are, you should not come to me. Um, I've, I've only felt the effects. I don't exactly know what they all are, uh, but that is a reason. And not to say YouTube's algorithm is much better, but for the moment it is, however, however minutely, slightly better. So we are moving to YouTube. Um, I have a few reasons for this other than the algorithm. Um, one is I'm generally not a fan of the impermanence of Instagram's video format. So what I mean by that is even if you have a reel that goes pretty viral, um, within a week and, you know, it's gone. Nobody's ever going to see it ever again. And I just don't like that because I feel like it really discourages people, and me specifically. It's about me. This video is about me, everybody. It's about me. Um, it discourages me in particular from uh, putting effort into content because, you know, it's just it's just getting thrown on the pile and you're never going to see it again. And Instagram wants you to post every single day, so why put effort into any of those posts because... If you have to do one every day, not only can you not put effort into one, why would you? Because it's just going to get buried. And I don't like that. And, you know, YouTube isn't perfect. But at least with, like, YouTube videos, it's easy to for new subscribers to find your old videos. Um, they're not getting, you know, just thrown thrown onto the pile and in as much of a sense. Um, and I personally will find myself watching YouTubers' older videos all the time. And, and I don't do that on Instagram. I don't think anybody does. And so that's one thing I like about YouTube is that I feel like I can put effort into a video and it doesn't need to be picked up and uh, go go viral or anything for me to feel like it's it's going to make any difference. You know, does that make any sense? Probably not. Anyways, point number two. Um, I don't like, ins I'm not a fan of Instagram's general uh, real scrolling format. Um, just the, I don't know how to like explain this in a cohesive way, but just the idea that when you are scrolling through Instagram, you be it post or reels, you ha you're physically, the physical action of scrolling um, um, is like, is like an intentionally psychologically addictive cycle. Um, but what I don't like about it specifically is that you can't do anything else. Like what I, what I mean is like when I'm watching YouTube, I like to watch YouTube videos, but I can have that on in the background while I draw or I paint or I do jewelry or what you know whatever. I can have that on in the background. It's not like a hands-on activity to watch a YouTube video, um, as opposed to Instagram Reels where you have to be like actively phone in hand scrolling. And so I mean, it's just it just eats up all of your time and attention. You can't do anything else. And I know it's only a matter of time. YouTube also becomes TikTok and everything becomes TikTok and the whole world becomes TikTok. And I know, you know, there's already YouTube shorts. Um, but for the moment, I would like to support um, the platforms that are at least somewhat still promoting long form content um, where you could just have videos on in the background and be doing other things. In fact, you should be doing other things while you have this video on because um, because you should, because it's a better use of your time. And, and just the general idea of long-form content is also something that appeals to me about YouTube. Um, lately, with my Instagram Reels, I have been um, doing longer voiceovers and stuff like that, trying to make them more quality. Uh, and I just always have to edit everything down to the little 90-second window they give you. And there's something kind of, <laughs> kind of disheartening about editing hours of work down into a 90-second video. And I'm not like that. I'm not a fan. And I, I don't, I'm also not a fan of the alternate route of just re-uploading and re-uploading content um, constantly just to please the algorithm. I don't like that. I don't like this quantity over quality thing. And I know YouTube does the same thing, but I think it does it less so. So I'm, that is, those are my main reasons. There's other reasons, but I don't know. Um, I, I do have reasons, I guess is my point. I do have reasons. I'm not just doing this to be mean for no reason. Um, I know some people 
and they just prefer Instagram and they don't want anything to do with YouTube and so they're just gonna never never look at my stuff again which is okay which is 100% understandable but for the people that feel I don't know for the people that did regularly watch my Instagram stuff which I do notice by the way I do notice all you people that uh, consistently view my stuff for the people that did that I just this is I do have reasons I'm not abandoning you I swear um, I just I just had to it was it was I can't do it anymore I can't do it anymore it's horrible I hate Instagram anyways I'm just like I feel physically sick of it at this point anyways my script went away okay there it is okay so what so now um, just in general what to expect from here on out the main thing I would say is that in the past I've kept my jewelry and my art especially my personal art very separate because I'm very embarrassed of it but in this you know I I don't have what's going on I don't have it in me, in my bones, to maintain two separate YouTube channels um, for my two hobbies. And in fact, I'm picking up more hobbies all the time, and I'm not going to propagate new YouTube channels for every single one. So um, th my, this YouTube channel is going to be sort of a mess of everything, um, which I know some people won't like, but for the people that will, welcome aboard. Um, yeah, and so ideally, as far as scheduling goes, ideally I would like to do, say, two videos every 10 days. Um, and the reason for that is because I, I, I know I can work faster than I do currently, and I'm hoping YouTube will be a motivation for that. Uh, but I, uh, you know, in the beginning, more, more realistically, it'll only be like a video a week or something, uh, especially with school starting and all of that. So ideally more videos, probably not. And it also depends on um, how willing I am to publish work in progress videos. Um, ideally, all of my videos would be some sort of finished project, but that might not be that realistic. But just in general, my general video format will be um, just more or less documentation of my process, um, an explanation of what I'm doing. Um, ideally, my, I would say my goal for YouTube, um, other than just the basic ones of, of, of reach and, and, and money, uh, <laughs> um, would be to just... Um, I don't know if I want to be cheesy here or be really pretentious. Let's be pretentious. My goal would be to sort of let people know that they are allowed to make stuff, which is something I've had to learn recently, um, is that you can just, like, you can just make whatever. You can just make whatever you want to. Um, you don't need to have a, you know, you don't need to have the perfect tools and you don't need to have... It's just whatever you can just make whatever and that's what I've been doing lately and all of it is crap but I'm having fun making it and I think that's what's important and I would like to encourage more of that more doing and less um unless I don't know scrolling through reels and just buying stuff instead of making it yourself so anyways that's all I really have to say for now and if all goes to plan then sometime by this time next week I will have a proper video out of me doing proper things and hopefully some of you will stick around to watch and if not then I will feel no shame for rambling on like this um, indefinitely so thank you all for watching um, I'm going to go change out of this because it's roughly 97 degrees outside and this is an air condition so I hope you all have a wonderful day and hopefully I will see you in the next video whenever that may be Thank <laughs> you.